Hey there, this is Pastor Kyle coming to you from the North Hills Church of God here in Springfield, Ohio. And I'd just like to thank you for tuning in to another episode of North Hills Motivation. And today, we're going to talk about bearing the burdens of our brothers and sisters in Christ over in Afghanistan. So I'm sure at this point in time, you all are well aware of the atrocities that are taking place over in Afghanistan. If you aren't aware, uh, the Taliban, uh, they have taken control of Afghanistan. They are a Muslim extremist group, and there are different groups of people who li whose lives are now endangered because of the Taliban and uh, their control over in Afghanistan. And one of those uh, people groups that uh, whose lives are endangered are fellow Christians over in Afghanistan. So now Afghanistan was already one of the most dangerous places to live in the world if you believed that Jesus was the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God. And now it's going to be all the more dangerous to be a Christian in Afghanistan. And I predict that that uh, trend will continue as long as the Taliban has control over in Afghanistan. So there's people just like you and I who believe that Jesus is the Christ. And because of that belief, their lives are endangered. And some of our fellow Christians, they are paying the ultimate price because of their faith in God and his son, Jesus Christ. And now Paul, when he was writing to the different churches in Galatia, he's, he was writing to, to different Christians. And among these group of Christians, he told them to bear one another's burdens in Galatians chapter 6, verses 2. And that's exactly what I want to, want to do today, is I want to bear the burdens of of the Christians, of our fellow Christians, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ over in Afghanistan who, whose lives are very much endangered because of the Taliban. And there's two ways in which we can bear the burdens of our brothers and sisters in Christ over in Afghanistan. Number one is we can provide financial support. There's different organizations like Help the Persecute is one that I found um, that uh, our church will uh, be having a love offering for this, this Sunday. And their objective is to help the persecuted Christians around the world. And they have a special mission of helping the Christians, the persecuted Christians in Afghanistan with the Taliban taking over. So that's number one, where we can bear the burdens of our brothers and sisters in Christ is by providing financial assistance. You can check out Help the Persecuted online and donate to their ministry. Number two, the second way in which we can bear the burdens of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ today is that we can pray for them. We have to be praying. We have to be bearing their burdens through prayer. And that's what I want to do. So if you would all bow with me for a moment, we'll go ahead and we will offer up a prayer to God on behalf of our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ whose lives are endangered because of their faith. So if you'd bow with me. Father God, we love you so much. Father God, we thank you for the beautiful and the fragile gift of life. Father, at this time, we all would just like to lift up our brothers and sisters in Christ over in Afghanistan whose lives are endangered. And Father, our prayer today is that you give them the boldness, you give them the courage to stand up to their adversaries, to, to proudly and confidently proclaim their faith that they have in your son, Jesus. Father, I pray that you grant them protection. I pray that you grant them safety. It's in Jesus' precious and holy name that we pray. Amen. So again, I encourage you to bear the burdens of our brothers and sisters in Christ over in Afghanistan. Take care.